Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now from the time the Haiti Prime Minister landed in this country to come and sign a deal with William Samai Ruto so that a consignment of police officers in this country can be deployed to Haiti to go and try to deal with the issue of gang violence in Haiti. The Prime Minister is yet to step his foot back in his own country. Remember when he left, the order was given because the gang leader knew that he's coming to sign a deal here in Kenya so that they can get more reinforcement to deal with this gang. So Jimmy Chereza, aka Barbecue, told the Prime Minister never to step his foot back in Haiti. So that time he was in Kenya here with William Ruto signing deals and all that. <laughs> so imagine you go to a country to seek help. Then after that you are told not to go back home and you remain helpless. Those who are seeking help from William Ruto, you can see now where you are heading to. So yesterday the Prime Minister was um, supposed to go to uh, Dominic Republic and then uh, after Dominic Republic then he was supposed to jet back home that was the plan so in his, in his attempt to get where he was heading to his plan was forced to land in uh, Puerto Rico now uh, I'm in the US after he was denied entry to land in uh, Dominic Republic so the earlier plan had stopped because now all plans from Haiti were blocked from landing in Dominican Republic. He could not land. So he had to divert to other direction, go and land elsewhere. As all this is happening, remember, thousands of prisoners were released by this uh, bandits. Are they bandits? Gangsters. They got to prison. They broke the prison and released prisoners. Because it's like majority of them were their supporters and part of this gang. They have been released in all prisons. <laughs> so happened of Mahali Hali Iko in the capital of uh, Port Prince. He has been gripped by a violence. 80% is under this gang. Look at all that situation. So the worst thing now for the Prime Minister is that right now he is being pressured by US to resign. And uh, this is what Jimmy Chereza want to achieve. Number one, capture police chief. Number two, kidnap ministers. Number three, overthrow the government. And number four, to overthrow the prime minister, a real laundry. And this is the statement from the police officers in Haiti as far as the situation is concerned. I quote, we are finished. No one will be spared in the capital because there will now be 3,000 extra bandits. That's the statement they issued. That tells you that they are left helpless. With all this, then Kenya, we are here, Confidently talking about giving 1,000 police officers to go and face the situation in Haiti, whereby 80% is being controlled by guns. And by the way, even U.S. is now reluctant on giving the help in terms of the police officers in Haiti. U.S. is no longer willing to do so. Now they're persuading the prime minister to resign. And Kenya here, a deal has been signed. 
The only remaining thing is to deploy. They are not deploying army, they are deploying police officers. <laughs> Look at this situation. Then you tell me, how safe is our police officers in Haiti if they attempt to step their foot in their own country? If the chief in command of the country has been blocked, he can't step his foot back in his country. To an extent, his flight has to divert to another direction. Even the neighboring countries are not willing to give him a landing space to their country. They are worried. They don't want to be involved in other countries' issues. So he has to fly to U.S. Since it was a bandit in Baringo and Capedo, that is a big question on this panel. There is a huge problem. Talk of Baringo. We saw an MC being killed. People are dying every day. Kindiki has been overpowered to deal with the situation in, a, in a Baringo where children cannot go to school. People have been displaced from their own family. Sorry for that. With all these problems that prove that indeed we are not safe, then we are talking about giving our officers to Haiti. Yes, in Which kind of a joke is that? So, for those who are thinking about going to Haiti, the men and women in uniform, look at the situation. And look at the plan by the gang leader. <laughs> he is determined to overthrow the government, to overthrow the leader of the government, to overthrow, sorry, to, to kidnap the chief, uh, police chief, to kidnap ministers. Kama wanapanga kushika mkuba wa police, alafu wewe ni police tukutoka pa Kenya, umeenda kule, you are saying you want to restore peace in the Caribbean nation there. How possible is this? I think it is very easy for majority of Kenya to conclude that this regime could be sending our brothers and sisters to their death trap. Looking at the situation in Haiti, that is the conclusion the majority of Kenyans are now making that our officers are being sent to their death trap. Can you make a prediction how many will come live? Now look at that country. The citizens do not trust the government. They do not trust the gang leaders. They do not trust anyone. Then you are going there as police officers from Kenya after the Prime Minister signed a deal with the Kenyan President, that means this is a deal to support the government. So it is a government deal. That's government of hate. Yet, citizens do not trust that government. Will they trust you, police officers? Who will welcome you? You are coming because the government has signed a deal whereby the citizen, the citizen in Haiti do not trust the government. Then the gangsters whom you want to fight, neither the residents or citizens of Haiti trust you because now you are a part of this government through the deal that was signed. They don't trust the gangs. Who will welcome you? You are still vulnerable. With this vulnerability, we have no business in Haiti. Haiti is a death trap. Let U.S. offer the help. And to the Prime Minister now, you can see what you are going through after associating with William Ruto. Was it also a trap for you to come to Kenya, then the violence there escalate, 
as you sign deals here, then the situation becomes hard in your country. Then you are forced to fly to US and in US you are being pressurized now to resign. Was it also a trap for the prime minister? Definitely, there can be a possibility of that. That tells you that William Ruto has been used to try and deal with it. Politics in this country. So here I'm a chomba chakutumika. And this confirms what the majority of Kenyans have been talking about William Ruto. That it seems Ruto is a US ally and a project of US. So in the entire plan, there can be a possibility that there was no even that such kind of a plan for Kenya to help them. But just to make drama here and there, then get away to get the prime minister forced to resign and then the U.S. will plant another leader in that country. There can be a possibility of such. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section to continue this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.